As summer fades many are already wondering what will winter bring to Europe. Early forecasts suggest a colder season than recent years and it's not just a hunch. The answer lies in powerful weather patterns, especially one called La Nina, brewing far away in the Pacific. La Nina often means colder temperatures and more snow for parts of Europe, especially in the mountains. Meteorologists are piecing together clues from ocean temperatures and atmospheric data to predict what's ahead. This isn't just about grabbing an extra jumper. These forecasts impact heating bills, travel, farming, and city planning. For skiers, the big question, will the slopes be blanketed in snow? While weather is always unpredictable, understanding these global forces gives us a valuable early heads up. So let's dive in and see what winter 2025 to 2026 might have in store for Europe. La Nina, Spanish for the little girl, is a major player in global weather. It's part of the El Nino Southern Oscillation, a climate cycle in the Pacific Ocean. During La Nina, cooler Pacific waters trigger a chain reaction in the atmosphere, shifting air pressure and rainfall patterns worldwide. This ripple effect can steer the jet stream, a high-altitude river of air, altering Europe's weather. In La Nina winters, the jet stream often shifts, letting cold Arctic or Siberian air sweep into Europe. The result? Colder, sometimes snowier conditions, especially in northern and eastern regions. Not all La Nina events are equal, but even a weak one, like the forecast for 2025 to 2026, can tip the odds. It's a key reason meteorologists expect a chillier winter ahead. Understanding La Nina helps us see why Europe's weather can change so dramatically. It's a small name with a big impact. So, what's the big picture for this winter? Thanks to La Nina, Europe is likely facing a colder-than-average season, especially from Scandinavia to Eastern Europe. Expect more frequent cold spells and a higher chance of snow, particularly in the north and at higher elevations. The Alps in Eastern Europe could see a classic winter, with deep snowpacks and frosty days. This pattern is linked to blocking high-pressure systems that can trap cold air over the continent. When the jet stream dips south, it opens the door for Arctic air to spill into Europe. The result? A return to traditional winter weather after several milder years. If you love snow, this could be your year. Make sure your winter gear is ready. This season looks set to deliver a real chill. The stage is set for a memorable European winter. Let's break down the season month by month, tracing the journey from the gentle close of autumn to the heart of winter's chill. Each month brings its own unique weather story, shaped by shifting patterns and the growing influence of La Nina. September will feel mostly normal, with hints of autumn in the air, think crisp mornings, golden leaves and the first signs of change late in the month. Across much of Europe the days remain pleasant, but subtle shifts in temperature and daylight hint at what's to come. By October and November La Nina's influence grows stronger, expect colder snaps and early frosts especially in the north and east. These months can bring sudden drops in temperature with chilly winds and the first real taste of winter for many regions. Early snow could dust the Scandinavian mountains and Alps, transforming landscapes into winter wonderlands before the season officially begins. Hikers in mountain towns may see white peaks much earlier than usual. Western Europe may stay closer to average, with milder days and fewer extremes, but the risk of cold spells rises as the season progresses. Residents should be prepared for sudden changes, as weather can shift quickly. December marks the start of meteorological winter, with La Nina in full swing. Expect more frequent cold outbreaks and festive towns blanketed in snow, especially as the holidays approach. High-pressure blocks could lock in cold, especially from Germany eastward, maybe even a white Christmas for some. These blocks can keep frigid air in place for days or weeks, making for memorable winter scenes. The UK and Western Europe will see a tug-of-war between mild and cold air, making for changeable weather. One day may bring rain, the next a frosty morning, keeping everyone guessing. January is usually the coldest month and this year should be no exception. Expect icy mornings, frozen rivers, and the deepest chill of the season settling in. Central and Eastern Europe face a high risk of deep cold and widespread snow. Cities and villages may see heavy accumulations, with snow plows working overtime to keep roads clear. If the blocking pattern holds, expect a classic icy heart of winter. The landscape could be transformed into a frozen world, with glistening trees and frosty mornings stretching for weeks. La Nina is stacking the odds for a true winter experience, one filled with snow, cold, and the timeless beauty of Europe in winter's embrace. 
Europe's winter won't be the same everywhere. Let's zoom in and see what's in store for different regions. The continent's vast geography means that each area will experience La Nina's influence in its own unique way, with some places bracing for deep freezes and others for wild swings between rain and snow. In the UK and Ireland, get ready for more frequent cold snaps and a higher risk of snow, especially in the east and north. These wintry blasts could bring sudden changes, one day mild, the next day blanketed in white. Cities like London, Manchester and Dublin may see more snow than usual, and rural areas could face icy roads and school closures. Western Europe, France, Belgium, the Netherlands and Western Germany will also feel the chill. Expect more intense cold spells and a greater chance of snow, even in cities like Paris or Brussels where snow is often rare. These cold snaps could disrupt daily life, from public transport delays to slippery sidewalks and increased energy demand. Travel disruptions are possible during these cold snaps. Roads, railways and airports may all be affected, so it's wise to plan ahead and stay updated on local forecasts. Eastern Europe, including Poland, the Baltics and Western Russia, will feel La Nina's chill most strongly. Here, the cold will be sharper and the snow deeper, with temperatures dropping well below freezing for extended periods. Prolonged deep freezes and lasting snowpacks are likely, creating a true winter wonderland. Residents should prepare for heavy snow accumulation, frozen rivers, and the kind of winter scenes that last for weeks, not just days. Scandinavia is also in for a cold, snowy season, with high pressure often locking in frigid air. The northern latitudes will see long nights, crisp days and plenty of opportunities for winter sports. Norway, Sweden and Finland should prepare for a classic winter. Think deep snow, frozen lakes, and the magical glow of the aurora borealis lighting up the sky. Southern Europe, Spain, Italy, Greece will see a mixed bag. Expect wetter and stormier conditions at times with heavy rain and gusty winds, but less certainty about persistent cold. Some areas may even experience dramatic temperature swings within a single week. Some Mediterranean areas could get more rain, while others see occasional cold snaps. Mountain regions like the Pyrenees and the Apennines might get significant snowfall, while coastal cities could face flooding or strong storms. Each region's experience will depend on how the jet stream and storm tracks set up. A shift in these patterns could mean the difference between a mild spell and a major snowstorm, so meteorologists will be watching closely. Wherever you are, expect more winter drama than in recent years. From blizzards to icy rain, this season promises to keep everyone on their toes. Local details will matter, but the overall trend is clear. Winter is coming, and it means business. Whether you love snow or dread the cold, it's time to get ready for a season that could be one for the record books. Stay tuned for updates as the season approaches, and make sure you're prepared for whatever winter brings to your corner of Europe. Skiers and snowboarders, here's what you need to know before you start planning your alpine adventure this season. The weather in the Alps is always a hot topic, and this year, it's shaping up to be especially interesting. A colder winter bodes well for the Alps. Expect a solid snow base and more natural snowfall, even at lower elevations. This means that not only the high-altitude resorts but also those lower down the mountains could see excellent conditions for skiing and snowboarding. But snowfall in the Alps depends on storm direction. A northern storm buries the French and Swiss Alps, while a southern one favors Italy and Austria. The way these weather systems move can make a huge difference in where the best powder days will be found. This year, the pattern may favor more storms from the north and east, bringing repeated snow to the Austrian and eastern Swiss Alps. These regions could see consistent top-ups, making for reliable conditions throughout the season. The French and Western Italian Alps could see fewer, but still significant snow events. When the storms do arrive, they could bring heavy dumps, so timing your trip could mean catching some epic powder days. Cold air will help keep snow in great condition across the region. Expect crisp mornings, well-groomed runs, and powder that stays light and fluffy for longer than usual. The outlook is optimistic for a good ski season overall. Resorts are preparing for a busy winter, and the buzz among locals is that this could be one of the best years in recent memory. Early trips are still a gamble, local conditions can change fast. A sunny forecast can quickly turn to snow or fog, so flexibility is key if you're heading out early in the season. Watch short-range forecasts as your trip approaches for the best info. Modern weather apps and resort updates can help you pick the perfect window for your trip and avoid any surprises. The general pattern looks promising but, timing is everything. A few days can make all the difference between icy slopes and fresh powder so keep an eye on those updates.
Get your skis ready. This could be a season to remember. Whether you're a seasoned pro or a first-timer, the Alps are calling, and this winter might just deliver the unforgettable runs you've been dreaming of. The jet stream is the atmosphere's superhighway, steering Europe's weather. It's a fast-moving river of air high above the Earth, separating cold polar air from warmer southern air. When the jet stream flows straight, Europe gets mild, wet winters. But when it buckles south, often during La Nina, Arctic air plunges into Europe, bringing cold and snow. This wavy pattern is what meteorologists are watching for this winter. The jet stream's position decides whether you get rain, snow, or a deep freeze. La Nina's influence in the Pacific can set off these changes thousands of miles away. Understanding the jet stream is key to long-range forecasting. It's the link between distant ocean changes and your local weather. This winter, all eyes are on how the jet stream will shape Europe's chill. Let's talk about what long-range forecasts can and can't do. They show broad trends, not day-to-day -day details. We can say this winter is likely to be colder and snowier, but not if it'll snow in your town on Christmas. The atmosphere is complex and chaotic. Small changes can have big effects weeks later. The further out the forecast, the less precise it becomes. La Nina is a major factor, but other elements, like Arctic sea ice or the polar vortex, can shift the outcome. Sometimes these factors work together for a deep freeze, other times they cancel each other out. That's why we talk about probabilities, not guarantees. Use this forecast as a guide for planning, not a promise. Stay flexible and keep checking for updates as winter approaches. The weather always has surprises in store. That's what makes it so fascinating. To sum up, early signs point to a colder, snowier winter for much of Europe thanks to La Nina. Northern and Eastern Europe are most likely to feel the chill, with more frequent cold spells and snow. We've covered the month-by-month -month outlook, regional impacts, and what skiers can expect. Remember, this is a forecast of probabilities, not certainties. The best advice stay informed as autumn progresses. Weather models will sharpen, and local forecasts will become more accurate. Check updates from trusted sources like your National Weather Service. Prepare for winter's challenges and its beauty. Stay warm, stay safe, and keep an eye on the skies.